Welcome to Airin channel and welcome back to the sheet metal course. In this video, we are going to look at cutting away material from our model. And there's many reasons why we might do this. Maybe we need holes for screws or cut out for cables or for something else to go through. Or it might even be cosmetic. You might want to cut a logo out or something like that. It's very easy to cut away parts from a model in sheet metal. But as usual with SOLIDWORKS, there's a few different ways we could do it. The simplest one is just to start a sketch on the face or plane where you want to make the cut. So for example, let's just go here on the base flange. I'm going to start a new sketch and then go normal too. And then I'm just gonna throw the profile that I want to cut out. I'm gonna use the mouse gestures and get the circle tool. And then I'm just gonna throw a few circles. I'm not gonna dimension them or fix them in place, just for a bit of speed. And to make the cut, it's just a case of going to the sheet metal tab and then choosing extruded cut, which is this one. This is very similar to just a normal extruded cut in SOLIDWORKS. But because we are in sheet metal, we've got a few extra options here. The first one is called link to thickness. This means that our cut will always go all the way through our sheet thickness, no matter how thick it is. So let's choose that one. We can also do a normal cut. And we'll talk about this more in just a moment. But for now, let's press OK. And the cuts are created. To demonstrate that normal cut feature, I'm just going to add and flange. And I'm gonna change the angle so it's not a 90 degrees. Something like this. Let's go for 55 degrees. And then I'm going to make a cut on the top face here. That goes through this edge flange and also the base flange. You don't have to follow along with these parts, just for a demonstration. So I'm going to get a center rectangle. I'm going to make it cut like this. So I'm going to go to my sheet metal tab and then select extruded cut. Then firstly, I'm going to turn on link to thickness and I'm going to turn off normal cut and then press OK. And this is what we come up with. We've only cut through the initial thickness of the face where we started the sketch. So we've only cut through this section here. If we want to cut through the edge flange as well, we could edit that cut extrude feature and then we could choose an end condition like through all both. So this will go through everything in our model in both direction. We still haven't got the normal 2 feature turned on. But if we make this cut and we look from the top here, you can see it looks absolutely fine from the top. But if we now flatten this part and we zoom in on that cut and we spin it around so we can see underneath. We can see now we've got this angle on the cut because when the part was folded up, we had the angled edge flange. So the angle of this cut will be 55 degrees, which was the angle of the edge flange when it was folded. But something like this would be really hard to cut with a laser cutter or a water jet machine or something like that. So ideally, we want this cut to be normal to the top face of the sheet. That means that we want it to be perpendicular. So we want 90 degrees here instead of that 55. And we can do this using the normal 2 option. Let's unflatten the part and then edit that cut extrude feature and then this time I'm gonna put a check in the box that says normal cut and then you should be able to see that this edge here has been cut 90 degrees to that surface of the edge flange and now if we flatten the part you can see we've got a nice perpendicular cut through there and we've got the same in this corner so this would be much easier to actually cut out of a flat sheet of metal as well as cutting a specific profile, you can also use this option. It's called Simple Hole. Just click on the feature, and then select a face or a plane to add the hole. And choose where we want to place the hole. So I'm gonna choose this top face. Then we can adjust the diameter of the hole here on the left. We've also got the link to thickness option as well. So we can put in an any value here. And then when we press OK, that simple hole is cut out. I personally don't think that this tool is very useful because now we actually have to go in and edit the sketch underneath the hole and we have to fully define where the hole is by using smart dimensions or by linking it to an existing feature or point so this is a bit of a convoluted or thrown out workflow really I personally think it's better if we just throw a circle using a normal sketch and then use the extruded cut option However, a better option for making holes in this is to just use the hole wizard 
If you're not familiar with the hole wizard, it's a really powerful and useful tool, and it's got loads of preset sizes of holes and types of holes, can save you a lot of time, and it also makes it much easier to edit our holes if we need to modify anything later on. The hole wizard can be found on the features tab, and in sheet metal, it works exactly the same way as it works for a normal part. Select the hole wizard tool, and first you'll have the type tab. Here we can choose the type of hole we want. As we said, there's a lot of different options. For example, let's go with an asymmetric and just choose something like a standard hole. Going to go for a screw clearance, and then we can choose whether we want a normal hole or a loose hole. Then we can click on the position tab. And now everywhere that we place a point, a hole will be added. So this is a really efficient way to add multiple holes at once. The great thing about using the hole wizard is that it's really easy to then edit all these features. So all we have to do is going to the hole feature in the design tree and press edit feature. Say if I wanted to change these open screw holes to threaded holes, we could just choose that here on the type tab. And then those changes will be applied to all of those holes in that feature. Just one thing to know about the threaded holes. Sometimes the thread doesn't actually show up. It really depends on your exact view settings. So if we need the actual thread to be visible there in our model, you might need to go into your view settings and just make sure that those cosmetic threads are visible. So even if you're doing very simple holes, I would personally recommend that you use the hole wizard. One final thing to be aware of with cuts is that some manufacturers have limits on how close any cutout of a hole can be to the edge of the sheet or be to any bends. This might be 10 millimeters, but it really depends on our manufacturer. So if you've got any holes are close to an edge or bend, then maybe speak to our manufacturer and check that they can actually make our model. So to recap cuts and holes, we can make cuts out in our sheet metal part just by starting a sketch and sketching the profile that we want to cut and then going to the extruded cut option on the sheet metal tab. We can link the cut to the thickness of the sheet and we can also do a normal cut which means the cut will always be perpendicular or 90 degrees to the surface goes on. This can make it much easier to make cut out from flat sheet before anything is folded or bent. If you're making holes, we can use the simple hole option. But personally, I would recommend using the hole wizard, the hole wizard, or just actually drawing a circle and then doing an extruded cut. In the next video, we're going to look at a brand new feature, which is the mitre flange. But for now, we can go save our parts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.